Hi guys, this is Valentina Palladino for Ars Technica and I'm here with one of the newest products from Under Armour, the Speedform Gemini 2 running sneakers. So it'll be widely available on February 29th. Now these are smart sneakers. So they will track your running similarly to a regular fitness tracker, although you won't have to wear anything on your wrist. All the technology is built into the shoes. Under Armour owns the app Map My Run, so you'll be using it with that app as well as Under Armour's record app. It will track your runs, walks, hikes, multiple different activities, and it'll track your distance, uh, calories burned, uh, pace, cadence, all that kind of stuff, and it will relay all that information to your smartphone. And one of the best things is, is that you will not have to charge these shoes ever. So these Gemini 2 smart sneakers take their design almost directly from Under Armour's Gemini 2 sneakers that they have already had. Um, one of their best-selling sneakers, people really like them for their lightweight uh, design and lots of comfort. And so they're made with molded 40 foam footbed and charged cushioning. and on the footbed or well inside the footbed i should say it are these sensors that will track your distance your calories all that kind of stuff but you won't be able to feel them i'm wearing these and they just feel like regular sneakers the only way that you can really tell the difference between the gemini 2 um, these gemini 2s and the regular ones are the um, equipped with record little branding here when i've been running and in the gym with them i've not experienced any type of uh, discomfort or um, anything weird that you might get with a typical fitness device and also Similarly to a regular sneaker, they don't cost a crazy amount of money more than the Gemini 2 regular sneakers. The Gemini 2 regulars, they're about $130, but these are only going to be $150. So it's not that much more of a price jump whether you're going to get the regular sneakers or the sneakers that are smart. So this is Map My Run. It might look a little bit different than the Map My Run that you're used to or that you might use really frequently. It includes the functionality that you would need to use these sneakers. Um, so you can see here, it just shows you a map of where you are. And has a bunch of different settings up here that you can change. And one of them is gear. When you first set up the uh, Gemini 2 sneakers, they will appear here. The best thing is, is that when you first initially pair them, all you have to do is shake the right sneaker, so, and that activates the Bluetooth, and it'll know that your shoes are nearby and that you're ready to wear them. Here's where you'd start a workout. Here's where you'd change your activity. You can do running, walking, indoor running, like on a treadmill, sprints, hikes, mountain bike. There's a lot of different activities that you can do. And afterwards, you can look at your feed. I have a few saved activities here. Um, and you can see there's different maps for what I did. I did an indoor run and an outdoor walk. Um, and all those show up there. There are some challenges you could take, take a part of it from different brands. And under more, you have a ton of different settings that you can change. Um, in here, you can do connect apps and devices. If you ever need to check on your sneakers, you can look, look at them here and this is where you'll also be able to change specific settings for the sneakers as well. Here's an interesting feature, it's called Auto Start. Auto Start makes things really easy if you just want to go for a run with or without your phone and you don't want to start a run or a new activity from within the app. You can literally just put on these sneakers and if you're running 12 minutes per mile, if that's your pace, it will start automatically tracking your run. So once you sync the shoes with the app after your run, it'll show up as a recorded activity. It's really useful if you forget and you just start running and whether or not you have your phone, the shoes will track those runs. And once you hook it up to the app, it'll sync everything for you again. So Under Armour now owns a bunch of different fitness apps. You have Matt My Run, you have My Fitness Pal, you have Endomundo, um, and its own app is called Under Armour Record. And the shoes work with uh, this app as well. And they like to keep their platforms really open. So with pretty much all of those, you'll be able to connect all different types of fitness devices from Fitbit to Garmin to Jawbone um, to different just types of sensors. If you have a heart rate chest strap that you want to use, um, anything like that, Under Armour wants you to be able to use it with one of its apps. And it kind of gives you a more overall uh, picture of your daily health because you can see we have steps. Um, my nutrition goals, which I haven't really changed, how many hours of sleep I got last night, and fitness. I have a, a, an account for both Matt My, um, Matt My Run and Under Armour Record, and since I linked them, all of my stats from Matt My Run were, were um, imported into Record without me even having to do anything. Um, I just kind of opened Record and there they were. You're not going to get that from Matt My Run. Matt My Run is specifically for running. 
In a similar fashion as the auto start feature, the shoes are not meant to track your daily steps. So don't confuse them for a pedometer or for just a general purpose fitness tracker like any of the Fitbit devices or things like that. They're really only supposed to track specific activities or really fast paced running um, with the auto start feature. Um, so it's not going to replace a general purpose fitness tracker.